Hi. Okay, so here's a tactic that they may do on you if you're a targeted individual. Um, I parked my car earlier and, well not my car, but I parked the car earlier and got inside, all right? A few hours later, I got a call from my brother saying that the light on the inside of the car was on. Now, I was driving the car earlier today, okay, in daylight, so there was no need for me to turn on the interior light in the car, and I know I didn't turn it on. So they basically broke into the car, turned on the interior light, okay? So, my brother calls me to let me know that it was on, and again, this is something that they, uh, that they do, right? Break into your, into your it break into the car, turn on the light so I can come outside and then what they do is that they stick something like this on the floor so that I can recognize it, right? Or I can see. Okay. Now that is a barcode uh, in reference to the microchip. Because I'm chipped, uh, you know, they will use symbols like barcodes to uh, create an association so every time you see a barcode you're thinking in your mind that it's a chip right uh, except you, you know you don't have a barcode stamped on your body or anything like that but you do have a chip inside you if you're a targeted individual and so this is what this is the kind of subliminal message that uh, they send you It's basically because they want me to move they want me to move from where I'm living and so it's like, if I stay here, I guess they will um, continue to with the remote neural monitoring. I guess that's what, is, you know, could be. I'm not sure. But, you know, they do stuff like this all the time, right? Again, another form of subliminal messaging for targeted individuals.